Hello, how's, how you doing? Hope you, hope you guys doing out here. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm hanging in there myself. What is changing? Um, this video I'm going to title it. This video I'm going to title it about relationships between men and women, but particularly between black men and black women. Even though, even though you have other women make the same with their men. Make, Make, of all races make the same mistake, but we're going to cone in on this one, and I'm going to show you the reason why. Internet connection. It's an artificially created problem so that internet providers can... You know, Keisha has the uncanny ability to talk about black men in the most negative way, talk about how they not up to the task for when it comes to dating, how, you know, these black men want them to settle for less, you know, point out their flaws. You know, they, 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 they love doing this and they do it so well to the point where they had people believing that black men were not as productive or even as close to as productive as everybody else. But now you're starting to see the shift. Social media has been Keisha's biggest downfall because it's showing them, showing the world that they're liars. So if you see that they're liars, hey, if they was lying about everything they do, is it possible they could have been lying about black men? And they started seeing who's the real face of criminality, who's the one that's out there being dysfunctional, and started realizing, hey, you know, black men aren't anything that Keisha was saying. And then you start seeing how much of a bride worshiper they are. And this Keisha right here, right? And Keisha is the same globally. No matter if she's from the UK, the Caribbean, over here, North America, she's the same. This is what she's responding to. This one right here. Listen, look, look at this right here. Wait, you're trying to give advice when you dated a racist man and was still in contact with him and even tried to tell another girl. Weird. This is what she's responding to right now. Well, let's see what she has to say about this. Ooh, respectfully, no one's trying to give you advice. If anyone is taking advice from me, your life is about to look like Boo Boo the Fool. Don't do it. <laughs> I need to put that in my bio. No one is giving any advice. I am just telling stories. Now, this, this question has come up a lot. Like, why were you still friends with him? Now, here's the gist. Not that you asked this question, but this is interesting. How can I... Well, no, how can I explain it? Do you know how many women, specifically dark-skinned black women, in my life at the time were like, keep being his friend, he may change his mind? Girl, I wish I was lying. There was so much of that advice. Someone else in the comment thread from... Now, if you hear what this tennis ball is saying, she's saying the same thing that black men say all the time. Keisha's just telling her, hey, listen here, tennis ball. You and the, and the rest of us tennis balls, we, we are really... Don't look at him as a bad person. You know, that's just out of anger. You should just, you know, sit sit it out. You know, just, just don't look at it because this is what they usually do. All oh, black men do worse. You know, Brad gets a pass for everything, a pass for everything with just a simple saying of black men do even worse. But where? Where? Do, where? Where? You can't run that no more. So you gotta prove, you can't just say things no more. People are on to you. People are seeing how you give Brad a pass. And and people are seeing that Keisha is telling you to give them give him a pass. But when you with a black man, they're telling you to break up with him. Don't be under his leadership. Don't don't listen to him. Don't follow instructions. Don't don't be cooperative with him. But when Brad, they're telling you to work with him, even though he's racist. Let's go. 
from, from this conversation said something. A dark-skinned black woman said, and yeah, this is what happens when women like us are, are told to invest in struggle love. Now, this isn't for you to do, by the way. Candice at 33 has so much empathy and forgiveness and love for Candice at 23. And that's why if 33-year-old Candice can pick up her phone and share these stories, because I have had to reconcile with myself and, and hug myself and love upon myself and, and look back and go, girl, you were so stupid. And not, and not just you were stupid, but also the advice around you was coming from a place of lack and coming from a place of fear. So I don't even want to turn around and say that the women that told me these things we're stupid. We can we can only give what we've got. We can only speak from where we are at. Looking back, I absolutely should have not remained friends with that man. For what? For what? But um, it, again, it's something that came up in that comment section a lot. I wish I could go back and turn back the hands of time. But 23-year-old Candice had not even no self-esteem. Self-esteem in the minus. Didn't feel this way about herself wasn't so confident or passionate about her own life and was so desperate to we don't believe none of that you was you was you had no no self-esteem right but you had enough to look at black men and say nah you you're not it you had enough to look down at black men you had enough to look down at black men and look up to racist brad you had enough self-esteem to do that so we don't, no, no, we don't want it. We don't believe none. It ain't the self-esteem. You saw his skin tone, right? And you went crazy. You saw his skin color. You went crazy. That's all. He was interested in you and you felt weak in the knees because it's a brat. The funny thing is, when they get older, this is this is what I be trying to tell brothers about the reach back. When they get older, they see, oh, oh, Brad ain't checking for them. Brad ain't trying to take them home. Brad is embarrassed by them, actually. So what do they do? What do they do, black men? Oh, they try to do the reach back. Oh, what happened? Oh, you was silly. Oh, you, you didn't know your worth. Oh, you ain't have no self-esteem. Save it. Save all that. Save all that. Because the black men that you dissed when you was in your 20s and they was in their 20s, they didn't care what you had. They didn't care you know, where you were going in life, they wanted to date you because they wanted black women and what did you do? You looked down at them. You told them no. You told them it's a, it's a no. And you did it because of him being a black man. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. That's, that's really what it is. You went and got with a Brad. He called you everything in the book that he could think of. And you were around Keisha's telling you to go back, deal with it, still be friends. And you know what friends mean. It will, you know what friends mean? Still get taken on tizzy tours. And now the tennis ball wants to reach back. No. No. To be loved that anyone would fit the bill now if you want to judge or mock or hate because of that that's hey. fine but that means these stories aren't for you i am i am only speaking to, to share these quite traumatic moments with other women who are going through the same kind of forest or who understand what i'm going through um so yeah and i am weird thank you yeah you're weird
Akeisha talks about being with a brat. You ask Akeisha, hey, Akeisha, have Brad ever called you the N word or any 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 slurs anything? Have you any? Have, oh yeah, he did. Really? You still with him? Oh, it was only out of anger. Have you any? Have you ever said anything while he was taking you on the tizzy tour or any? Oh yes, yes he have, and I thought it was weird. That's what they say. She thought it was weird. But let it continue. Okay. I'm a, what to be fair and honest, which I'm gonna let you hear from the woman's side. And then I'm gonna go back to the man's side. Watch this. Here's a woman. We've been taking care of y'all. We've been investing in y'all. We've been building y'all up. And then y'all leave us for other motherfucking people. They keep thinking, well, damn, what can I do? Nothing. Nothing. I want to like this. Cerebral, and this is Cerebral Talks TV. And I often do not like to talk about Dr. Umar Johnson. I, not really, because I do not agree with a lot of his talking points. Some of them I do, some of them I have said. And um, I understand that Dr. Umar Johnson, he does want to see black men and women in America do better, but he does have some views that I feel are problematic. I did not know that he had children that he did not marry the baby mamas. I think he has two children and he's always promoting the black man being with the black woman doing right and all that other stuff. And um, he does have a lot of views where I feel he can be a prejudiced person and I'm not a prejudiced person. And um, you know what I'm saying? Black people will say, well, we can't be racist. Okay, I'll use the word prejudice then. And um, hmm, he's been saying a few things in his podcast about why some black men go to white women baby y'all have been going dating white women and, and having relations with white women uh, for a very long time many black men will change their reasons as to why first they said they're getting white men back for slavery then it moved to oh she submits and listens then it turned to oh well her hair um no weave which they do wear then it turned to this. Then it turned to, oh, y'all are fat. Then it turned, it's, it's always a reason. And the whole reason is, is because they don't want a black woman. Okay? That is what it boils down to. Black men have even had, uh, you know, discrimination within our race, the black race, uh, when it comes to black women. Okay, we know this is a real thing that does exist. Okay, and black men have been playing black women mentally for a long time. I told you to let go and to stop caring because nothing you do will ever be good enough. I told you this. It doesn't even matter if they find you cute or attractive. They will still try to make you pay, still play mental games with you, still compare, compare you to other black women and white women, always complaining and whining because the black man is angry. He's angry at himself. He's angry at his position within society. He doesn't know what to do, so he takes it out on the black woman and keeps trying to make you work to prove your love, prove your loyalty, prove why I should be with you. Oh, now some random white women are messing with me. Now I can leave you. Prove yourself, black woman. Prove yourself. Prove yourself. And y'all are going around in circles playing mental gymnastics in a game. You will never win with them. They always have an excuse as to why you're not being picked. Then they will lie and say, well, when we do get married, we marry black women. But only like 30% of them even get married. They barely get married. But black men are always playing with y'all. They're always playing with you. Nothing you do is good enough. It never has been. It never will be. And y'all won't wake up. So I'm going to be quiet. Let's see what she has to say about what Umar Johnson recently has been saying on the podcast. I've seen it. And I already knew it was a bunch of bull crap. Come on with it. Let's let's see this clip. <laughs> 
Yo, I just watched a clip of Dr. Umar on this podcast, and I am so pissed right now. Dr. Umar, if you ain't Dr. Umar, y'all can scroll. Do me one mother favor, because I got so much respect for you. Stop pushing this goddamn narrative that black women are not interested in a black man that's in progress. That is such bullshit. That is probably the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard. The reason why we don't want to fuck with y'all when y'all ain't got shit is because you're not fucking loyal. You're not loyal. It ain't never had shit to do with money. We've been taking care of y'all. We've been investing in y'all. We've been building y'all up. And then y'all leave us for other monkey people. Then y'all throw other women in our faces. Y'all never marry the girl that built you up. You never get, get a black woman give you Y'all, oh, she could be dark skinned. Next thing we know, you with a light skin. She could be fat. Next thing we know, you with a skinny. She's so stuck. Ever wonder how constitutional carry affects your right to carry and your right to self defense? We're hosting a 100% free So stop this fuck narrative. Well, I definitely could feel her frustration about basically how they are hypocrites and they contradict themselves, okay? How they oftentimes will say things that they don't want, but then they go and do that. For example, men who say, I don't want a woman who wears makeup, but yet you keep cheating on your woman with women who wear makeup, and that's who's on your screensaver, that's whose Instagram you go to, because that is the woman that you actually want. But for some weird reason, you want your woman to not wear it, because I guess you don't want her to feel pretty. Even though being pretty naturally, but you don't want her to spruce herself up, you don't want her to feel herself get a big head you don't want her to have attention from other men and all of that the woman you actually want and desire is the woman you're telling her not to be um as far as the whole thing i mean black men don't have to like one skin shade of black women we are diverse as women but i get it some of them who say they're so pro-black and the melanin this melanin that and then um once they get some money then they dump you and then you see them with a woman that wasn't necessarily what they said they wanted okay that does happen with a number of black men a lot of black men they will use you for your resources what you can do a lot of black men talk about black women but the women who they live with are black women who's paying the rent paying the mortgage and some of them are with black women they're not even physically attracted to but they needed somebody to take care of them so while they're staying with you when you're at work they're driving your car with other women or they're working on themselves you're pouring into him maybe for him to go to trade school and then he he upgrades and he no longer needs you and in some cases he might not leave but he's creeping on he's creeping on you with various women that he's actually attracted to or just to be a dog because he can't be loyal to you and i do find it amazing that umar johnson is actually saying that black white women will date a black man who is uh in progress who like are, the fact that he can lie tell a bold-faced lie like that is incredible to me because who are most black women's baby daddies if you were to find out who their baby daddies are most of them are average and below average black men the you know what i'm saying when he'll say black women won't date the bus driver the blue collar that is a lie because majority of those men have children and a lot of them have children with black women a number of them and white women a lot of black women do not get the cream of the crop black men so yeah cut the s because a lot of black women are dating average and below average black men give a brother a chance always like i said nothing you do is good enough y'all are always screaming yeah king king my king my king black power i see the videos to this day you keep pouring into him to give him this self-esteem boost and he keeps crapping on you he craps on you for having standards. He craps on you for getting an education, no longer wanting or having to live in the hood. He craps on you for being a single mother. He craps on you for choosing not to have kids and birth kids into poverty. He craps on you for everything. You are in an abusive relationship and you're driving yourselves crazy and you refuse to let the black man go. Let's see what he can do for himself let's see what he can do with other black men let's see what he can do when he can't blame you anymore and he's left to himself then he resents you for that 
well, you didn't, you didn't pay for my tuition. You didn't pay for this. You didn't pay for that. You didn't this. You didn't this. You know, you want black women to do all of this. You can't even give black women a marriage. No, how about you marry her first and then y'all can work together? You don't even want to get married. You want to date, hit it and quit it, have somewhere to shack up in. She ends up getting pregnant. She's upset because she believed in your potential and your ass ain't do nothing in five years. She got children to take care of. She resents you. And then you get angry and you crap on her all over the internet in front of all races of people to see as to why she's not good enough when you never intended on marrying her in the first place. You're the least married men in the country. You don't, you're allergic to marriage. You don't like your women, a good portion of you. You have no honor. You have no dignity. You have no respect for yourselves, a good portion of you. There are a sprinkle who do, and they're usually taken as, you know, they would be. And then you don't admit that no matter what a black woman does, I already told you that if he doesn't like your face, if he does not find you to be cute or attractive, it doesn't matter what you do. He doesn't want you. He doesn't like your face. And they're never going to tell you that because it's too embarrassing and hurtful. You know, I'm just saying every man's taste is different. But I'm just saying that's how men operate. If he don't like how you look, it don't matter what you do. It don't matter. And he will go into the whole public and lie on y'all and keep saying you didn't this, you didn't that, you didn't this. So y'all are running around in circles being abused. You're being abused mentally and emotionally by black men. And then they have the audacity out of all the years of y'all paying for your son's basketball practice and paying for this and that and paying the bills. Y'all now did all of this and they still, even Umar Johnson going around saying, well, the reason we go with white women is because they will be there with your potential. Listen, I don't want to be like the white women who take any damn black man. I don't want to be with a man who's happy at a low position and don't do nothing. I don't want the scraps. Because a lot of white women out here are taking the scraps. I see them all the time with black men I do not want. I don't want to pay for your groceries and your gas all the time. Okay? You can play the sob stories on them as the system, this, the system, that. I know y'all. And a lot of us do. A lot of white women are not getting the cream of the crop black men. They're getting some of the scruffiest, bummiest ones too. They get, they get it all. They get the scrubs, they get the middle class and the rich. But a number of black women, they, they date y'all when they're in college and y'all not doing nothing, or you are, and you don't marry them. So cut the bull crap. Y'all will make up any excuse in front of the public as to why you crap on your women and why the white woman is better. You make up anything because the truth is a number of you are prejudiced, you are racist people against your own women. Now, I'm not saying you can't have standards. I'm not saying you have to find every black woman you see attractive. You're still human. You're still a man. But you have no loyalty. You are the most unloyal man on the planet. And God is going to put you right where you need to be. And you're suffering because of your treachery. Now, I don't believe in forcing a man to be with somebody he don't want, but overall, stop it. I have literally, since I've been a little girl, watched you come up with 10 different reasons as to why y'all prefer white women. First, you started off, I want to get the white man back instead of building up your race like an idiot and having money. Money is power in America. Having businesses, employing black women and men or letting a black woman finally be able to rest at home. You practice this. You don't. A number of you talk about. You got a 50 page list. You claim attitude. If we don't have an attitude, oh, you don't. You don't cook like this. If it's not that, oh, you're too fat. If it's not that, you discriminate against black women for various different reasons. You want to be the king of everybody. You want everybody to worship you, and you want to give everybody your ass to kiss, including your own women. I don't understand why do y'all keep even at large even messing with a number of them who do not like you. I don't care how, how, how you dress. I don't care if you got the Coke bottle shape. It doesn't matter if they think we're pretty. A number of them have an attitude problem towards black women. They have an issue. They are mad at themselves and they're taking it out on black women and they want you to take the scraps. You've been taking scraps and supporting them since slavery. And they still keep whining and whining and whining and complaining about you in front of everybody. You're not supportive. 
How can a group of women with 70% out of wedlock children giving black men who don't have anything a chance not be supportive and then get vilified and, and talked about, oh, why did you date a, a bum? Most of you don't have nothing. If your loved ones or community need help. <clears throat> yeah, there are some men that don't contribute too much and there are some men that are lazy. But you see why... Um, it's more like it's a character flaw. It's more of a character. So, you know, is, is that the way you pro So when black men hear that, the ones that, now like that, what, what, what is that saying? You know, you sound like you're very angry. You sound like you're very, and it sounds like you're, in some sense, it's kind of insecure. I'm just saying, but I'm going, I'm going to let the other guy clear it answer what she just said every month a black woman goes viral for talking about how they don't like to date black men that train is never late it just december just happened and we got a fresh video from two black women saying that they don't like black men i mean are we shocked at this point so i want to say this and i know people might go to my page and be like well i thought you were saving someone i am dating someone but i do want to stay this though um, I'm over black men. I seen a girl make this post like some months ago, but like, and I felt her then, but I really feel her now. I am so over black men. I'm over black men, and the reason why is like, it's too much dating them. It's too much dating them. Like, it's too much energy. It's too much like fight that you gotta give. It's too much like having to like show too much like. I just wish people get what I'm trying to say. Like, that girl, she stated perfectly. I'm not... I'm a lot more rude than her, so, like, I could really be offensive. But I just feel like it's a, it's a lot of damn black men. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! Black women get on the internet and complain about black men and they choose the worst black men. Watch this. It's dope. Um, I'm all black men. I seen a girl make this post like some months ago, but like, and I felt her then, but I really put her out. I am so over black men. I'm over black men, and the reason why is like, it's too much dating them. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder why, sis. Because you're dating a fucking gangbanger? We took a brand new offer from zero to one hundred and eight thousand dollars in MRR in ninety days. This was a complete. Under why, sis? Because you're dating a fucking gangbanger. Is that why? It's gonna it's gonna get better than this. He got the stats and everything. You heard that woman, right? And she wondered why. I don't understand how they feel so emboldened to go on these platforms and say such a blanket statement about black men. And the gag to this is that this young woman actually said that she's dating a black man. So you have to think what type of man is sitting there allowing his woman to go on TikTok and say that about black men. You're a black man. But that's not the end of it. Like I said, we still got the daily wrap up crew video to come up and we about to get it cooking right now. Here we go. Are black men often viewed as the least ideal partners for black women? And I do want to get into this first clip. I want us to listen to it. Um, you won't be familiar with this clip and then we're going to dive into it. Like, uh, what if we can play that real quick? Let's get into it. Don't shoot me up because I know how you play this like the t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t
I think black men don't like black women. I think you can meet 10 black men on different dating sites and they all cheat and they don't respect their women. I think every other race values black women other than black men. I think the real gag is black men don't like black women. Like, they're cheaters. I'm convinced every black guy is a cheater. I bet half of y'all can't even drop one black man that love y'all that's loyal. Ooh, the gag. Black men hate us so much when black women be the one supporting them. And I know how you guys like to <laughs> get in your bag. Don't be mad. Get you a Mexican. Get you a Jamaican. Get you a Haitian. Anything but a black man. And I'm staring it. And if you want a white guy, if it ain't white, he ain't right. I just feel like black women, we need to date outside our race because black men don't like us. And we shouldn't like them. Her, period. Mm -hmm. Stamping it, stand on it. You're standing on it. If y'all see the video, the TikTok video, and then you look at this young woman here, that's actually the same woman with the blue hair. Y'all don't believe me? Look, that's her. And she actually has on a shirt that says HIV positive. What is she? Wow, okay. <laughs> no, I'm standing so, on it. So, what made you write this? Well, have this post and what made you call well first of all this is my preference so all the black men were so offended it's yeah. my preference i wouldn't i don't i've had bad experience with dating black men they've been abusive to me not all of them but the ones i've dated so that's my preference i wouldn't want to date a african-american black guy i would do a haitian or i want to date outside my race like even coming i'm the only child feel me like my father he's a black male but he didn't give me a good example of how a male should treat a woman he used to beat on my mom he used to do very like he's verbally physically abusive that's not something that i want and i've encountered that on several different occasions so that's how i feel how i feel this is from very well mine and they have the dv varies by ethnicity although completely accurate numbers are not easily available researchers generally agree that among ethnic minority groups in the United States, black people are the most likely to experience DV either male to female or female to male, followed by Hispanic people and white people. So why did I share that? Because the narrative is that black men are just swinging on black women. But no, it's about a one-to-one -one ratio because about 45% of black men and about 40% of black women are the offenders. So when you guys talk about black men are DVing black women? No. It's one-to-one -one violence. IPV. Intimate PV. I'm letting everybody know this because I know y'all be in these spaces and you hear this argument all the time. Right? You hear that black men are beating up black women. Black women are beating up black men at the same number. Okay? Because there's more of y'all. So when you look at that 40% and we have 45%, just remember that. So if we're going to have this conversation, we're going to have it in good faith and start finding some solutions instead of trying to blame each other. Are you trying to blame black men? No. And again, one is too many. I'm very sensitive to these topics because I've seen some of the worst situations while I was in the military, while I was helping folks. So to see y'all just frivolously talk about this stuff on social media, it makes you look ignorant for one, and it's damn right disrespectful. Okay? And I feel like the black men out here that want to date like outside of their race with the white women or celebrities, I don't take care of that. That's their preference. So what they shit, like, feel me, it don't bother me. So I'm stamping it. That's how I felt. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your thoughts on this? I think she's entitled to her preference. Thank you, sister. I only see two colors, so when I heard certain things, I'm like, I get it, but, like, your, your beautiful boyfriend now is technically, uh, if we went back to back into slave times, he would be considered a... You know, black person. Words. Educate me, because my man said that Jamaicans are black, so that's why I'm No, saying. well, I'm South American and Guyanese, but I'm technically because I'm, I'm on... Indian also. Yeah, that's Latin America. Okay. But I'm on so, Latin America, but so I'm still Guyanese. So your, boy, your boyfriend, which is, he's yeah, over him here. right there. He heard this video and said, now nah, I'm good because I'm not black. Is that is that the, so, that's the conclusion you came up with? I mean, at first I said I'm not black because I'm Jamaican. It's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> Culturally, but not race-wise. That's the fucking problem we were just talking about on the other episode. Yeah, so I, mean, I think sometimes we'll see evidence. It's low audio right there. Basically, her boyfriend said that I'm not black. I'm Jamaican. <laughs> so he said when he heard her say that, he was absolved. He was like, hey, I ain't got to worry about it. She ain't talking about me. 
because I'm a Jamaican man. I guess they're not familiar with the slave trade and you know how that stuff goes and where they were dropped off. How so I said to him, no, Nigel, not without the free. <laughs> Indubitably. Off, how we were dropped off, and people were dropped off in Brazil. He don't know nothing about that. Sails appear as if out of the deep. With a burst of guns, a tide of Englishmen pounds onto the beach. The Spanish flee inland. The English, having failed to conquer Spanish Hispaniola, have come to take this sparsely populated island instead. Spain had claimed Jamaica in the days of Columbus, promptly enslaving the indigenous Taino people. As disease and maltreatment began to kill nearly all of this population, the Spaniards turned increasingly to enslaved Africans. In the chaos of the present invasion, these Africans, roughly 1,500 strong, find themselves free. Spanish stragglers resist the English until about 1660. But the liberated Africans continue to fight from the shadowed woods. The Spanish had called such African and indigenous runaways cimarrones, meaning wild or untamed. The English called them maroons. After some years of bloodshed, the maroons retreat at last into the forested mountains, and the English do not follow. It is recorded that the ways of them became utterly unknown to the white people, and so they continued for many years. In the meantime, the Jamaican coasts become the haunts of buccaneers such as Henry Morgan, who murderously plunder Spanish ports and ships. Clergymen decry the Jamaican city of Port Royal as a profane and ungodly haven for pirates and prostitutes. Great wickedness does indeed enter through the southern docks of Jamaica. It is not the dwindling ranks of buccaneers, but the foul blight of slavery. The withered survivors of the transatlantic voyage are prodded ashore, sold, and forced onto plantations. The enslaved population, which counted 550 Africans in 1662, numbers 45,000 around the turn of the century. Many die from disease and overwork in the scalding, injurious labor of sugar production and this industry is maintained by heinous violence. One pro-slavery writer notes, for crimes of lesser nature, castration, or chopping off half of the foot with an axe. For negligence, they are usually whipped by the overseer. After they are whipped till they are raw, some put on their skins pepper and salt. Rebellion incurs the punishment of being burned alive slowly. Yet, it is known by all that in the mountains there live those whose very existence defies this order. Runaways and the survivors of frequent slave rebellions have often joined them or formed their own bands in the wilderness. And on occasion, often in the quiet hours of the night, the Maroons return to the plantations. They torch the estates, kill the slaveholders, plunder weapons and supplies, liberate many of the enslaved into their ranks so this is when it you know being black is convenient and we see this all the time especially with people from the dominican republic we've heard this all the time you know uh godfrey with the i, I know, know black, black i know, I know black, black right when it's convenient to be black and it suits you oh yeah 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 we all we all one family right but then when your woman gets on here and damn near shames every black man including your ass you're gonna sit there and try and justify it and say that it don't apply to me because I'm Jamaican. You have no backbone, sir. You have no control over your woman. And you're going to find out the hard way once y'all continue with this relationship. She don't respect you. You don't respect yourself. And I can't believe that you set your ass up there and let that woman say that about your fellow man and didn't say shit about it. You, sir, are a simp. Black women love to deify white men. And I know we always talk about the Loving versus Virginia case in 1967, and they were the ones that were responsible for how we're able to marry interracially. So black women have been trying to be with white men for decades. I don't think black women understand that this has been a long-standing relationship that black women have had with white men. Because with the Loving versus Virginia case in 1967, the reason why that was able to happen is because back then, there were only two free people in America, the white man and the black woman. When a white man had a black woman on his arm, nobody would say shit to that white man. 
that black woman had to be on his arm. But if a white woman attempted to take a black man into those same spaces, what do you think would happen to the both of them? DOA, the only free people in the United States back in those days were a white man and a black woman. So this is nothing new. There's a reason why you see younger black women like this say that if it ain't white, it ain't right, because there's been a long-term conditioning that's been happening. But the crazy thing about it is, even back then, white men did not marry black women at all. But they always had them on their arm. So that's why black women were afforded the ability to go to these spaces with that white man, because white men were free, hence why black women who were with a white man were free as well. And that's why you see some of our famed black women, such as Maya Angelou, it's a bunch of them that had white men, if y'all didn't know. And those are the people that a lot of black women look up to. So just to give y'all a little bit of history lesson on why what's happening is continuing to happen and that's how black women get conditioned to see white men. They see him as like this, you know, this white knight that's going to come in and save them, but white men are looking at them like, man, what is y'all talking about? So if the narrative is that other races of men are better partners for black black women, then you need to tell them that because they're not listening to y'all. Y'all have all this admiration for white men. You have all this admiration from, admiration from other races of men. And they're not listening. Every black woman got excited when Issa Rae uh, wrote that book. And she was saying that black women and Asian men should partner. Issa Rae wrote her best-selling book, The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl, three years ago. And when it came out, it was a pretty popular book that had no controversy, right? Mm-hmm. Until this weekend, mm-hmm. someone posted excerpts from the book in which Issa suggests that black women date Asian men instead of black men. Mm. And black men on Twitter were not having it. Uh. The excerpt post says... This is why I propose that black women and Asian men join forces in love, marriage, and procreation. Educated black women, what better intellectual match for you than an Asian man? I'm not talking about Filipinos. They're like the blacks of Asians. I'm talking Chinese, Vietnamese, (laughs) Japanese, etc. No. (laughs) Okay? Asian men as a whole, I mean, it's less than 1% of the marital population. They rarely marry black women. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It does. There's a couple of one-offs here and there. But we all know who is the least married. It's black women. Okay? So, and the reason why I'm digging into this is because I'm doing this in response to black women like that young lady and the one before her talking mess about black men. You would not have to hear my voice talking about this stuff if black women would just shut their fucking mouths when they're talking about black men. But y'all failed to do that, and I'm going to be the asshole that's going to come on this platform and tell y'all where y'all stand every time. No other race likes y'all. The only people that continue to marry you guys is us, black men. But when I first got on here, I used to say it was the loud minority of black women that's the ones that's hating black men. I've been in this space for about three years now. My thoughts have changed, and I'm pretty sure y'all have noticed that. Now I say it's a loud majority. It's because of 2024, and I'm glad this young man put this video out there and I put some stats with it to show black women why the numbers say what they say now. I don't date American black men. I have never dated an American black man. And I think black men are all alike. I genuinely want to know why black men make dating so difficult. I just feel like being with a black man, we have to go through so many loopholes to get. I am so effing tired of the amount of emotional labor that comes with dating black men. That's all from TikTok. Fitting, right? That the platform may be going away. So the stats that you guys see on there, and I've said this multiple times, one out of five married black men are married to another race of women. I understand it now. We here at Media Buyer Academy train everyday people no different than you and I to run ads on social media. I understand it now. I understand it now. Because when I first got in here, I had some 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 sort of hope that there would be some black women that will step up and start, 
you know what I'm saying, disparaging these women that's putting out these narratives. But then we get women like on the Daily Wrap Up Crew show where they're like, well, she's entitled to say what she want to say. So that's why. I understand it now. So all of the black men that were talking about SYSBM and all this stuff about, man, I'm going to just try and marry outside of my race, 2024 has showed me a lot. And I came into this space with a clear mind, clear conscience. Y'all don't understand that the videos that I just showed you, y'all are making black men who never hated y'all. You are making those black men have a level of disdain that they never thought that they would have. And I came into the space, like I said, with a clear mind. But I was hit with the rude awakening, awakening by just simply commenting under a black woman's post. I told you guys that story recently. There were far more black men that were what we considered, let's just say they were blue pill to the black relationship situation. We didn't know this shit was going on. I was one of them. I was in the military. I didn't have time to focus on this stuff. But when I started getting into these spaces and I started to listen a little bit more, I started to notice that whatever black women considered bashing was just simply the truth. Black men telling them the truth. But what they were doing was bashing. And then you get people like Dr. Umar that's doing the devil's work by telling y'all lies about black men and the cycle continues for decades and the decades. Black women still running around there thinking that there's more black men in prison than black men in college because they're lazy and they fail to do the research for themselves because they don't care as long as it makes them feel good they cool but like i said i'm still doing these reviews for both men and women because i still believe in the small minority of black women who support what we're trying to do over here but to all you other women fuck all y'all and i say that from the bottom of my heart 2024 definitely has been an awakening for me. Okay? So black men, I understand it now. Do what you gotta do. Go where you're appreciated because you guys can actually do that. It is not just some buzz term or buzz words that you use to try and scare a fellow gender. You know, they're like, we gonna just go where we appreciate it. That's what black women say. Where the fuck y'all gonna go? Where y'all going? Who are you trying to scare into? Oh, oh black women go just go where they appreciated. Black men, you better start marrying these unsuitable ass women. No, y'all gonna be right here, okay? And that's why your marriage numbers are dwindling. Don't and you play it off as like, well, we don't want to get married. Cool. Black men's marriage numbers are increasing. I just told you, one in five of married black men are actually married to another race of a woman. We never would have thought that would happen because black men deeply love black women. But for some odd reason, y'all too blind, deaf, and dumb to see that. And you need to wake up. Because, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a lot of black men. They ain't even got time to argue. I'm only doing this because I care. When I stop talking to y'all asses, that's how you know that I don't care. And it's almost getting to that point. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what is there to say? I mean, he's right. I mean, pretty, pretty much right. Women are complaining about something, and they're making themselves look bad when they're doing this. And all the other women of his nationalities are paying attention. Every race of woman has some kind of issue with her man. Every, you know, based on his character. Not the color of his skin. Not putting a lump in the whole group. There's some men that are macho. There's some men that are cheaters. There's some men are abusers. There's some men are procrastinators and, and everything. But you, it's like some of these black women making it, making it bad for maybe some black women who don't, don't have this mindset that really want a black man. Now, the disdain for the, your opposite sex is going to track that way, and even and and and, and it's really bad because it's going to be men from all races. See how track these black women are saying, why are these black men not with them? But you, when you hear the second video, you see why. 
Because after you get over the attractiveness, how attractive she are, how the one woman is, and she's very educated, look what kind, look what kind of mindset she has. And basically, it's the character of the men that you pick. It's, it comes down to character. And so, hey, and, and maybe some guy that talked real swoon, said he's going to promise you the moon and stars, and talk you into it, break, break, break your heart. And the, the, the man that would have worked with you, he's too lame. He's too, he's too soft. I don't think he could protect me if something would come down to it. If he has to be at the cap of toxicity, they think that yeah he can. I think he'd be able to handle somebody in the fight. There's some women that, that let, because I feel secure around him. And and I think protection is yes what a man is actually supposed to do. But there are women that judge you, but based on that, so they'll they'll cause a conflict and see how you're gonna respond as a man. But if you respond rationally. Then she, and you have some women that are goofy like that. Because you don't know how that outcome going to turn out to be. And if you come and turn out to turn out to be, it can cost you your freedom or it can cost you your life. But it's okay. But And, there's, and there have black, been black men have stood up for black women and have costed their life standing for a black woman. That's a fact. I've I seen the black men when his, his woman was getting harassed by a white man and a white man pulled out a gun and psh, on a live right there. I have seen black men st 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 go toe to toe in, in a hair product store when, when black women were getting pounded by some short um, Asian store owners. The black men went out there saying, hey, Ace, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna do our women like this. What did, what did black some black women do? Shut up! Uh, you don't care. I don't get, get give it. We don't care what you say. They went right back, and they got thirty percent off of their hair, and they went right back up in that shop and did it. Black men put it on the line, but he, he ain't a certain type. But he ain't certain type when he speak up. But you don't see that second woman talk about that, do, do, do she? And it's and the whole light skin. And, and, and the thing about the light skin, dark skin thing, who gives a shit? A light skin woman is, a, is considered a black woman. Why you all, why do you, some of you black women always saying stupid th stuff like that? I don't understand it. You always had, you probably had a light skinned mother or grandmother. I mean, I, I, that's something that boggles my mind about, about, and particularly it starts with the women with that stuff. You know, I don't know if it comes from the plantation or what the. What? What the heck? Um. So that's a st st stupid narrative. Another stupid. So after hearing all this, and it's some blame me saying fine. You you do what you do, but where do you? But where do you see us bleaching our skin after we've been with us? How on high numbers? Or do we bleach our skin to try to? Be with our white counterparts or brown counterparts, but you, but you seem to do that because you have something in, insecure lock. And then, what do you see a bunch of black men putting weed, blonde leaves in their head, trying to, trying to be different, trying to blend in N their nature? Do you see? Do you see black men, men when they date a white woman and marry a white woman? Putting blonde weaves in their head. When they, when they take Asian women, expanded women. No. So who who has who has the problem with the appearance? Who so that who is really insecure? I'm just saying. And so it's like, well, I don't have to take up scrap, but, but every couple. So what 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 what, you, what are you saying? Your grandfather, when your grandmother first started out, did she was they educated? When he was working the farms and he was working the gender and steel mills and labor. What what are you saying? But they, they and she able to make a business. She's able to 
educate herself? Did she leave her side? But all of a sudden, you you, you want to, I expect how you, you, you're right. And that's why you're still single and doing a podcast. An attractive woman. And you see all these attractive black women and they can't keep them. And you see them going to two or three different men. So, who problem is it? Sound like it's the, it's the kind of, either it's her or the men that she picked. She don't want to take accountability. This is the truth. This is the reason why they, they're single. You see a trap of a black woman? You got think about that. Think about that sometime. And she make herself out to, to be a, a, a victim. This can be any other woman too, but we're going to constantly. If you see something like that, nine chance ten, it's something up here wrong with her. It's because we got to deal with you, with your personality. That's what black men got to deal with from all walks of life. Well, he ain't got nothing. Every man don't have to be at a certain percentage to make up his character. God will reward him over time for his hard works and effort. But well, you got some black women that want to work with you. They want you already already have it, because they don't have to do it. And that's the same sound like it. So, when the, when when those black men finally get it, they gonna hear. They gonna think about what you said and hear what you say. So, and 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 this thing so, I don't want to deal deal with you because you might be one of the type of women. And see, this is what these women on that do these these videos on TikTok and YouTube don't even realize that if, if they're single and they be saying that same platform. They'll be a single mother forever. And 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 then there's other races of single women that it will get a man from a different not only from their own nation, but a man from another nation. Why? Why is that? Because of their person they learned their lesson. Some women take accountability of who they marry, who they date. They, they might make a wise decision. And sometimes they work out, out in the second relationship. But these entitled women that think because they think that their degrees and, and all about your looks and your degrees, the, the looks is, is one is thing, but I got live. But black men is saying, I got to live with your personality. That's what black men want. That's what all men want. But, but, but you, you got this, but you got so many women that want to put 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 black men down like they, they're like you talking to a, te a teenage son. They don't don't know how to and so black men had to go other places to find like this other woman will accept who you are and you don't have to go through all this strength. So that's why they gravitate to these other women because they accept them who they are and you don't have to throw little insults, me mediocre insults at them. You ain't, you, you ain't strong enough. It, it, it don't matter. The, at the end of the day, he has the companion. What do you have? He has the longer relationship. What do you have? Because when, you, when you're when dealing with someone, once you get involved with them and, and form your bondship, your relationship, and bring all your, your time, your investments, and everything together, that's what it comes down to. This is what... And, if, if, if it's a man doing that, he would be wrong just as well as the woman would be wrong. It's, it's all the character that you, the person that you pick. But you want to take it out on all, all of us men? And just practically the good men? And maybe it's because you, you, you met men that that's, that wasn't because they didn't have they didn't signal goals. So whose fault is that? That's on you. You attracted to that. You had a choice not to lay down with them. You and procreate with them. But because but he had something that you kind of like, a kind of little drama, a little toxicity, and that's and that's why you with him. He make you laugh once in a while. He show real side once in a while. And at some point, you'll submit in, in some type of way if he had that certain personality. You, and you like to rebut that, that personality. But to be a normal man that don't want well, prior that, you think he's a simp and he's a wimp. And that's what some of you women, some, some of you black women, like other some women who think like you do. That's why you're single. It's your, 
and, and, and the reason why is your per because your your decision and your your personality. So this is what the men of all walks of life got to deal with. So even the men that don't have nothing or going to get something is going to hear this video and say, okay, I'm going to another I'm going to another place where women got some sense. Maybe that the white women that they meet have good personalities. This is what we're trying to tell you. You think it's all oh, because it's because she has a good personality. She let him be a man. You don't do that. You challenge his manhood. That's why you that's why you keep going through one of these women that'll be attracted and they go through man after man after man. At some point, she'll tell your story, but look at the results of it. What what are the other men is saying? But he, he made a good point. That's the truth. He, he shows stats and everything. And look at the decision on the first video. The one, one woman you picked a, a man based on his character was a white man that was a racist. You, and all because of his skin. Most black men don't pick a woman just because of her skin. Because of her personality. Too bad you can't. But you, you, you want, you want the, what it appeared to be. We want. We don't care what would appear to be. When, when black men if they're outside of the way, it's not what it would appear to be. Is that there's something that they, can they tolerate? And do you match up with your personality? That's what black women don't and, and, get, and catching catching it. It's personality. Yes, the looks has something to do with it, but it has nothing to do do with that stuff. That's something you form because you don't like because of dark skin. There's black men that like dark skinned women. Brown skinned women. What is your personality? That's what it's about. That's what Kevin Samuels and other people are trying to tell your personality. Oh, it's this. No, it's, it's your personality. I can't stand and then and, and, and why are you gonna argue with somebody? And, and so two so, two solutions you can do. There's two things I, I I like what he said. You need a psychiatrist and you need Jesus. And a lot and a lot of these women from all walks of life need both of them. That's why they're single. Guys, that's why they're single. And it's not that black men just don't hate because they go because they can't no, that's not it. That's not it. They've been hoping to find a woman that, that they can see in that in other women. But it's you but black women got the, got an ego, they got a pride. They, no, I, I, that's that's less of a woman than me. And then he said, "Wait, well, you you getting you getting too masculine? That's that's that sister girl won't let them be the, the submissive woman. That sister pride girl. It's the truth. And and even other women, black women who waking up is trying to say, hey, maybe we should listen to the men. No, 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 no. them Negroes don't know what they talk about." You see what I'm saying? So black men are through, through talking. They just getting up and saying, and I've I've heard Cub brothers say they've been overseas. So you can, and, and black women are able to travel, but even when they go overseas, the black men don't even want to see when they get over Thailand. There are black women in Thailand, and other places. They find the American. They don't want to be bothered with them. <laughs> So it's like, okay, black woman, go meet you, your Thailand, Thai man, or they hope a Thai man to get you, or a Philippine man get you, a Colombian man get you, get with you. And, 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 and why is it, and, and then she come back and say, yeah, I see, why are you worried about black men, American black men, you, that's why you went over there. I heard this was coming, and travel overseas said that, that's messed up. That, and you got the now you got the money and resource of travel, and you're and there's some pretty attractive black women, but that that tells you something. It's their personality, it's their entitlement. I well I, and, and then and then when you feel like if, if you was get with the men in that country, you'll be thinking that you above him because you make more money than he do, and then you start putting him down, say he need to apply and then get get his education, get a higher degree. Higher income, just like you do, you do the men here. 
knowing that the, the, the currency in it in, in, in the income in that country is like that that's the reason why you're not willing to submit to that because your ego your pride won't promote it and that's the truth so the reason why these women like you see them coming on YouTube and TikTok that's the reason why and them saying they, they met men and, and when they, they find the men don't have the richness that they get the bottom of the barrel of their men and they think that they're going to talk to them men crazy them men put them right in their place they have grown real quick so not just, like he said that's what he was talking about you're going to be over here single not because because the words you say your mouth is, is the worst thing that caused you to be single Stop talking about your men. And you make it harder for other black women that want to find a good black man who has a good character, who might have the characteristic. Now you done made it harder for her. Because you have you have so many black men getting that attitude in that disdain, like, I don't want to deal with a white, black woman. That's messed up. Because it's not because of you, your, your hair texture and shit. It's not because, in some cases, it could be because of weight. But most most what is not I guarantee you is your personality. It's your personality because that's you. That's something you got to go look long term, and that's what the man, the man can't invest in. It's not a it, 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 well. I because I'm making a certain amount. He should be making a certain amount. That's not, not even if it was. That's not what he want. He he wants. Personality, your personality sucks. Your entitlement sucks. That's why. That that's why that man went to the other woman. Has nothing to do with your skin, and this is what other women have been trying to tell you. But you have to put them down and say because they live in a third world country and they can take advantage of them. That's not it. They have a better personality than you do, and they're poor. And even though they they're in the state that the, the, the currency is in, in it educated and you know that the, 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 the economy is not as well but the poorer they are the better personality they get got too bad too bad some black women like other women in america can't pick that up because you think because of status and class that's why you're single and you continue and you ran you look you, you, you picked the wrong men and the, and the good the men that you you pick you you didn't want didn't want you. The, the men that you want they didn't want you because of your personality. And the man that wanted might get what you was trying to tell you. You say he he went above and he's like yeah you got a standard and that's why your standards is, is wait your standards is keeping you single till this day. It might keep you standard to to God take you to take you home to glory. But don't don't blame that it because it's your decision. So if anything, learn from this video from what this relationship. Hey, you want check your personality. Alright then. Take care, be blessed. See you on the next video.